Good morning, dear friends. It's Monday, it's another week, and we have today the last pew of trust, um, which is chapter 34, and it's called Serve and Love Now, the last one for this little book, precious book. Stop wasting time. Life is formed from a series of blessed circumstances. However, oftentimes they are hidden in the midst of our trials and battles to awaken our strengths and talents. Take advantage of these generous days of renewal. They are full of opportunities to leave your own mark of love and service on earth. Multiply those talents of your heart by offering in your life precious goods that can be put into the service of the Lord. Make the light of consolation, comfort, and joy shine on in the lives of others, friends, and families. Know that every light disseminated from a brother's heart is a blessing, multiply, and generously return to one's existence. Dedicate your days and your strength to the idea of love and peace in order to equally find both serenity and bliss on your path. God guides life with sovereign and infinite love and then counts on each of His children to be a divine instrument of His will. Know that you are immersed in a sea of magnanimous love which orders and conducts everything so that disturbing demands on unproductive lamentations do not find space in your soul. Elevate your soul to the altar of life and to your Father by connecting yourself to good and beautiful thoughts, which are both felt and lived, and feel the winter of your existence convert itself into an everlasting spring, which embodies the joy of living. So this last lesson is speaking to us about the preciousness of time, the preciousness of life that brings us each day blessed circumstances. And in these circumstances, although we may not be able to see immediately, there are always, always um, hidden gems, so to speak, that we can, if we can find, if we can perceive and take advantage of them, will help us to grow and will help us to move forward in our lives. So take advantage of these times. Sometimes we call them winter, we call them dark times, times of trials, of pain and expiation, but there is something hidden to each, to each one of us, a gift, a gem, a learning, a precious experience that if we open, if we are connected to the source, we shall be able to perceive and take advantage of it. So that's the invitation also multiply our talents, right? We all have talents. And sometimes you may see, I don't have any talent, but we all are divine beings. And so we have divine gifts within ourselves. For someone might be patient, for someone might be the ability to listen, for someone might be the ability to forgive. Each one of us is capable of doing something and offering something to life. So let's dedicate our days and our strength to the ideal of love in peace in order to equally find both serenity and bliss on our own paths.